ladies and gentlemen, Rodrigo Faria. Good morning. Welcome to the presentation. Thank you all for coming to see it. Uh, this is my third Nagios conference and my first time presentation. Presenting. Um, I'm really happy to be here and see you here too. By the way, my English, English is a little rough. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be a talk about my help about how to help Nagios community grow in my country. My presentation is simple, fast, and direct. I will explain a little bit about my project with Nagios community. About me. From Brazil, I am a security IT consultant, and I have been working a long time in IT and with Nagios since 2004. And lastly, I'm from Brazil, but I don't have good at soccer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. OK. Today, we are going to be looking at the initial idea, rebuilding the template, first access, understanding searches, top search phrases, access growth, my blog, blog and results. Why the initial idea? Why start a blog? A few reasons. I really believe that Nagios is the best software for its purpose. It runs Linux and really fast. When you know what you're doing, it's really simple to use. And the time I was looking the most important thing, it was free. It can monitor more than 1,000 services, and it was developed in C. Setup Nagios can look a little difficult at first time, and this was the main re reasons I started my blog. Also, there was little to no Nagios information out there in my language, Portuguese. So I saw the blog as a way that could help the Nagios community in my country. Of course, you can, you can do many things, but one of the most important things about Nagios is that it works well with the smallest and most simple system, up the biggest and most complex. Nagios XI is the enterprise ver version and has enterprise support, continuous maintenance, and get a license, opens up a massive amount of the new and exci exciting resources, like library and forum and support and other things. Here, you can see the first version of the blog. It was created in August 2011, it wasn't as good looking as I wanted. Next step, Ethan Galson, provide own server. I'm not developer, but I spend a lot of time building. The new template look like the mannagos.org website. Thank you, Ethan. Here, you can see the new template. Eight months after the first version, which started in March 2012, like nagios.org. Here, I can see my friend from Minnesota. They learn is uh, Portuguese. I have 400 likes on Facebook. It's good to grow your access on your, your website. Here, only to compare with the website. Not the same, but. Now, 
I get the first analysis of the traffic after integrated with Google Analytics. More or, there's, more or less 30 visits per day on average. Here is not re really because when I I migrate the website, I make tests, I make tests, I make tests, and not really. <laughs> really is the next. <laughs> now, I start the analysis about how words are more important to post on the blog to help community. Like uh, traffic sources. I can see Nagios, tutorial Nagios, Nagios download, configure Nagios, configure Nagios first time, and I make the post. First step, I understand that is the most important is to help to make the first setup like the quick start with Nagios core and XI. Okay, after many months, you can compare with the last year. I have more or less 150 on average access per day, and it's growing fast. 500% uh, percentage more, or 300. And there you can see Brazil mapping in real time, access in real time on Google Analytics. As an example, here is a post I made to show the structured Nagio score, structured Nagio score, Nagio CFG, command CFG, host CFG, to more understanding, users understanding. And, and the second, uh, XI with BPI function, one example. What can I do with this? Start and make contact, uh, help the community, and maybe bring about new business opportunity. Important. For the last topic, I will show the results of my work. First case with Nagios XI. Lojas Americana company monitoring the environment to reduce downtime in their IT services. And the most important thing is business continuity. For this, depending of the telecom, Linux, SAP, credit card system, and other systems working well. After using Nagios, they created a new department, monitoring team on the company. Here, I have a testimonial from Lojas Americanas. You can see Tiago Ferreira very, very happy after using Agus XI. <laughs> Second, it's a, little, it's a little investment bank, but in, important. This is an interesting case because got an Agios XI trial mode, tested the solution, and after told me that it's not important to use monitor system. After two weeks, Nagios XI expired, and he told me about how much the license, because it's impossible live without monitor system. <laughs> Good strategy. Fernando saw reduce your downtime. He can see in your report on Nagios XI. You can see Fernando Ferreira very happy too. <laughs> Nagios XI made people happening worldwide. The last case with Nagios XI, Audatex company, they implemented the software to have more control in your environment and get business results. The most important thing for all the techs is monitoring one business thing. I have other testimonial, but Leonardo stay here. 
he will talk about a little bit about your project. Please, Leonardo. So, good morning. Uh, as we're told, I'm, I'm my team and Christian manager to a company in Brazil. Solera is an American company. I don't know if all of you know Solera Group. It's a holding. And uh, in Brazil, we have a big office for other tax in parts and other companies from the holding. And basically, <coughs> I'm there working for, I guess, an, 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 an year, almost a an year. And in the beginning, what what I saw in the company was a lot of troubles to figure out how and what is our problems in, in, into our environment. Well, basically, was we were using uh, Microsoft Scone and uh, another software to monitor and to get information of our environment. Well, with the basic thing, like to monitoring CPUs, memory disks, servers, VMware, etc. Also, we have there uh, a SAN network that we use uh, uh, for storage things, and uh, this also was a problem. So basically, to understand well which kind of business we, we do have, there is the following. The other tax companies develop the softwares for claims to make a budget for insurance company and body shop, body shop companies. And uh, basically, the body shop use our system to make the budget. So if you're a customer from, let's say, Liberty Insurance in Brazil, you have, a, you have a crash, for example, with your car, you go to the body shop, okay? And then the body shop use our system to make the budgets. So for example, if you crash a, a door or a bumps, you can select to the system and uh, 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 to change that and how this goes, everything's included to the system. And well, this is the beginning. And after that, the body shop or the Autotech systems in the background send information to us to our main software. It's not mainframe, but it's like that. And uh, we have some intelligent services working for this to check, for example, if that model, if you have the, the parts of the car, or if you haven't that, we can contact another companies to sell that for the body shop, et cetera. And we have some service also that checks the process. I mean, for example, if, uh, let's say for Libits, for example, if you have more than 50% of uh, uh, of uh, cost to fix the car, or they can decide, okay, we can just replace the car, like, uh, well, the total loss of the car, or not, or we can replace the parts of car. So we have service to check that. And after that service check that things, this, 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 this let's say, but it goes through the insurance company, and then the insurance company check, okay, I will pay for that or not. And then they deliver, deliver back the information for us, and they we send again to the bar shop, and then the bar shop can decide if you do or not. It's basically that way. So what is or what was our main problem with that? Uh, basically, we we have per per day about forty five thousand of uh, claims per day per business days in Brazil. So forty four forty five thousand is a lot of information that we process every day. And we charge our customers about 10 bucks for, for, for each transaction. So it's a lot of money. And uh, you can imagine it if sometimes we have some problems like, okay, network problems is, is, is no for, for, uh, for us, but my, my main issue there was the following. When the body shop generated the files sent to us, we have two ways. One way is from FTP, for text files, and another way is from websites, from XML files, okay? So it depends on the company, what, how they would like to work, but we have the two drives for them. And uh, well, sometimes we saw, we have a problem with the context of the, the files. I mean, well, the, the, the tags for the files, whatever the problems we have, if you stop it to receive or to send that files, for us, that's a big problem. I have some examples here. Uh, maybe we can, well, after the, the presentation, talk about more about that. but. Basically, if you stop the file or to the bot shop or in my, my system and my data center or in the data center from the insurance company, it means that the customers you wait for that because instead they uh, go to the, the, the bot shop and make the budget. They are waiting the whole workflow process working to make sure that the insurance company authorizes the bot shop to make the fix well to make the job. Uh, and with Microsoft Com, for example, was a trick to figure out how can you, for example, make ex uh, 
features or a chance to check the base things, folder and files, the first one. So for example, actually I have one uh, main FTP and one main web server. And then I receive all information through that service. Of course we have cluster, we have VMware, well, we have uh, 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 have ability on the storage, but whatever it is, we have just two points to receive the files. And then, when I receive the file, the file can be there or just can arrive and leave in about seconds, all right? And what you can, how can you improve our, our monitoring environment with Nagios today? It's a basic thing. I'm not here, uh, uh, also, my, my environment's very simple regarding monitoring, okay? I'm here also to more make quests and then to give answers for you. And uh, basically we see how many files do you have in our folders, like a carry, for example. And then we can see, for example, if more than five minutes I have more than a thousand, a hundred files, I can have a problem. This was the first thing that we start to use Nagios there. Right, that worked fine and we have uh, a touch cooperation view with a lot of monitorings around my area there and also the service desk area, the IT guys can see that and can, well, somebody has to do something. That was the previous uh, 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 things that happened there. Because instead of that, we just had um, some, uh, uh, let's say, monitoring, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I don't remember how to say that in English, but we have some television monitoring and uh, but just say if the service the server not the service is up or down just that and nowadays we have instead the servers we have the services too but not that the service of oh, the service is running or not no we have also what the service is doing if it's doing well or not uh, and after th this was the first stage and uh, and after that we saw that we can improve and more and more and more and uh, the main problem that stage for us was was knowledge because you know, uh, it, I know that we have a lot of documentation to the websites and to the forums and communities and also from the blog, but of course, Impasa was a 100% hands-on guy, and actually, I'm a manager, so I look for for best solutions, cheaper and that works for my company. And of course, the main difficulty now I'm I'm trying to share with you guys some some about my experience that maybe can help us or help the company too to grow and make more opportunities for us in Brazil. And for example, our culture is the following. I guess it's the almost the same for yours. Uh, there in Brazil, we, we well, the great guys from IT normally has the certification and uh, training for the softwares and the stuff like that. And uh, I have a, a team today that have had and no idea how to use the Nagios. And of course, was very simple to buy a VMware machine, to set out an IP, and to follow the wizards to the websites, right? So just to set up, to set the IP for machine, the port, the service, and that's it. And uh, after to monitoring that process, we start to think, well, I can see the files, I can see the time that the files in the folder, but now we have more challenge. Because we have also database to do that. We not work only with log files, of course, to you know, to improve our system, we control a lot of information through the database, not through the log files. And uh, the second, uh, the second challenge for us was how. And and I remember that I spoke with some guys here about that case. And how can I? Because our environment also is a hundred, not a hundred, but a ninety percent from Microsoft and VMware. So we do not have too much open software, open open software there. And. Uh, well, we monitor the files, and now is the time to monitor our database, but not monitor if the database is running or not, because we, we know that's very simple. You can make a telnet to the port of the database and see if the connection is making, etc. So it's not so important for now. And uh, we try to use the plugin to check uh, MySQL, but our database is from Microsoft. And there is in the beginning, there was the results was the following. When you run the plugin with the queries to the database to check, for example, any table, we just got an okay the time that we got the result. But that's not enough for us because, okay, the database is running. And uh, we open a ticket through the forum telling to the guys how can we improve that. And, well, basically, I'd like to see the result and not 
if the comments were right or not. So it was very interesting because um, <laughs> in that time I thought, wow, if I can't do it with Chrome from Microsoft, why not from Nagios? And the guys, I don't remember the name of the guys that helped us with that. And the guy said, okay, you can do the following. So now we br like a brainstorm. You can ask it to your uh, that, uh, DBA to create some procedures that check your tables and generate results like 0, 1, 2, or 3, right? And uh, Nagios will take that result and can tell you if it's right or if it's wrong, basically things like that. And it works perfectly. And today, for example, just a second. Yeah. Now it's clear, but it, uh, maybe, you can, well, we can share that later. But this is start operation view that I running on my Offsider. And now we have no problems. That's nice. And my team is working well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, uh, when, because, well, I have no example to show you here right now, but when we have a problem that the text file or XML file doesn't work, instead to see the folders I can see through the database. So what is the main difference for me right now if I compare the Microsoft product? I'm not, uh, 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 I, 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 would I would like to be very clear with you guys. I'm not here, I'm not to any other conference to say what is the software is the best. I'm here and uh, I'm looking forward to make sure that my business work well, you know. And uh, what was the main difference between, for me, for my case, from the Microsoft and to the Nagios? It was the following. It was a very funny story, too. <laughs> because uh, when we, in the same time that I contacted Rodrigo, asking for to have Nagios there, in the same time we have some partners in Brazil from Microsoft. It's not a third-party company. It's from Microsoft. And... Uh, one guy was there for a week just to make, uh, like a consultant, to make a budget for us in how we can improve our monitoring system from Microsoft. And the same time, I took one guy from my team, Rodrigo knows in Romario, and I said to him, hey, just download the VMware, the VM from Nagios, and in the same time, take the guys from Microsoft in that table, go to a meet room, stay there for five days, business days, and turn this to be a real, to be uh, 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 to, 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 to take a way to make a compare, comparing, you know what I mean? And uh, well, it was very fun because in the, in, on Friday, I remember that on Friday, the guy from Microsoft just showed me the bill. Or you can do that, that was a pretty nice job too. But Homer should, hey, look here. We, can, we are now monitoring our CPUs our disks, our whatever we have, of course the files, and it's working for, I guess, $205,000. And the Microsoft Core me charges about uh, 500000 to make that job. So that's very nice. But actually, actually, what is our pro main problems there? And again, about the training. Well, uh, Romario and another guy is working pretty well with Nagios, but they also have a lot of other things to do. And my team is very short. -lived. Well, we are an American company. You know more than me about that. that they, lo they, they, like <laughs> they love to save money. And as we can do, and ca you can deliver, you do that also. And uh, only through the documentation on the forum is not enough for me to deliver in time what I need. And what I'm thinking about to ask you guys, and I'll also ask to the boss, is maybe in Brazil, I don't know exactly if you have, but in Brazil we, we, have, we can have uh, uh, real professional training, and not only in English, because in Brazil not all people speak Portuguese. You know, you guys know that. It's a, diff it's a big difficult for us. Oh, we have a problem here to the doctor. This is um, uh, almost main, main uh, it's a big insurance in Brazil, Sul America. You, you know that, it's from Rio de Janeiro. And uh, you see now, I can see that I have a problem here. Well, it's, it's critical problem saying information to the service that, hey, the last uh, uh, workflow generated was for seven minutes ago. You have to check that, otherwise you can have a problem. 
so they can now follow that in a simple way. Uh, okay, uh, back to the training. Uh, and uh, it will be very nice for us to have in Brazil uh, official trainings and, and also certification where you can hire guys or find guys there that are real specialists and not say, hey, I know Nagios or I know how to make basic things. Because now I'd like to improve that. Actually, I have three main softwares on my company to help our environment. One is Nagios to monitor our servers and systems. Another one, I told to Ethan the first and on, on Monday, we still have been using Microsoft's Scone for just one reason. Uh, as we have almost 200 uh, server there, virtual servers, production environment, because also we have homologation, etc. But our production environment, we use actually Microsoft's uh, Scone just to see if you have uh, problems regarding uh, conflicts of, of IPs. Unfortunately, I still sometimes having that problem. I have DCP server, etc. but sometimes, sometimes, we just uh, recover a machine that was using another IP, that actually is used the same IP, that's the produ production environment, and Microsoft is uh, is calm, can tell us if you have a problem with that. I mean, if you have a twice the same IP in your environment. And another software is from a Brazilian company. We make, uh, um, a, how can I say, how can I, invent inventory of our hardware and software. So we are keeping three softwares to, of course, to make our, our life better, but I sister would like to see, and would like to leave open here, that I'd like to have just one software to manage all of my stuff there. And I believe so, that you can guys can do that. Because I can see through the improvements of the years. I'm also a guy from open source uh, uh, companies. I worked uh, in Mandrake Software in French, and in past on Head Hat in Brazil. And of course, I know that uh, we have a lot of information that you can share and you can make that information more business and more help for uh, another company like my company. And another thing that my next, next uh, let's say, deal is do the following. Uh, we are the only uh, 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 country of the Solera that have been using Nagios. Another co uh, companies from uh, German, from United States, from Asia, Europe, wherever. They are, usi they are using uh, Tivoli from IBM and uh, Microsoft Scone. Well, my CEO said to me, hey, if that's worked perfectly for us, why not to share that? To make the 30-30 or, you know, 80-20s and etc." So my deal is that, and of course, my principal deal is to make more my life more easy with my team. And that's it, if you have some questions to make me, uh, because as I told you, I have more questions to do than to give answers, actually. But I'd like to make more improvements, and of course, uh, we will be in getting in touch with all of you guys more and more and more to make sure that we can help, and, that, and also at the same time, we can have a help. So that is it, thank you. Thank you, Leonardo. Here you can see other countries that joined the program after first case in Brazil. I'm excited to help community and see Nazis grow in my country and in other countries, like Chile, Dominican Republic, and Italy, Panama, and Spain. Question? Speak slow for my understanding, please. <laughs> Rodrigo, um, did you have you seen because of your blog, because of the Nagios Brazilian website, um, has that been the main reason why businesses have contacted you about consulting about Nagios XI? Is it the website? Yeah. Okay. I receive a lot of contacts, but now uh, it's not possible for me make uh, the biggest consultant, the big project, because. I don't have time, but I believe one day I have time. <laughs> this is actually more of a comment. In working with Rodrigo, um, 
after making the blog and uh, and kind of helping him get uh, some items set up, we also uh, had kind of moved forward and, and hosted a, uh, a Portuguese support forum to help him maybe clear up some of his time. And as some of the communities uh, grow and build um, build some of the visits like his uh, has done, that's something that we definitely would entertain um, uh, doing in the future. We have a process now for setting that up. We went through it once with Rodrigo to make sure it was smooth. So um, so that's definitely a possibility as he gains some traction in different, uh, in different languages. Um, would you say that the language barrier is a problem kind of equally distributed across all projects, or is it higher in some areas, or, or worse in others, or better in others? I don't understand. Sorry. I'll, I'll <laughs> rephrase. Uh, so, so the language barrier is a problem in the IT world. Are, yeah. some, are some projects better, or are some projects worse? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Other question? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I think it's uh, amazing what you're doing over there. And I like to see the pictures of all the happy people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you sometimes have people that are like not happy? So you, you have a blog now, and you say that was a success. But w were there before other things you tried that uh, were not success? Or, or do you just always do well? And the first time, I'm, I'm not have success, is your question. And when I start in analysis, and I can see the, 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 the main phrases and understanding what's the the most important things post on the blog. And I think that it make automatic, automatic process because when customer asked me about uh, any questions, I have my knowledge, knowledge base in Portuguese. Problem in my account that uh, many people not speak English, like uh, Swedish. Uh, I remember uh, Johannes told me in your country it's common people speak in English. But in my country it's not common. That uh, other culture is not common. Yeah, I can see how that could be a problem. <laughs> Rodrigo, other than the language barrier, um, and the fact that English is not spoken that often in Brazil. What do you see, what are the biggest problems or challenges that would hold Nagios back? What are, the, what are the, do people not want to deploy Nagios for certain reasons or what, what kind of challenges do you see in growing Nagios in Brazil? What are the biggest ones? I don't know if, if I understand well. It's OK. I, uh, think you, I think you've touched on some of them. We run out of time often, too. But w we've uh, um, touched base with you about the potential of, in the future, maybe having a more, um, besides the blog, having an additional web page. That's something that hopefully we will be able to do as well, I think. Would that help if you had for the, um, the like the commercial uh, web pages besides just the blog that has like the layout similar to to uh, dot com, uh, Nagios com? I, I understand and the uh, your ask is modify website to commercial version. Uh, for me, it's good because when uh, cu customer or leads, not customer, 
uh, see on blog is not interesting because oh not not have commercial website is not commercial website and we can change the website I believe that the success is grow yeah I I believe you're correct I think um, it's it's going to take a immense amount of work both on on you know the, the translation side as well as uh, the logistics, but I, I think that that would help too. I think the blog is useful as well, though. Uh, that shouldn't go away. I think this needs to be an addition. Yeah. So uh, the main issue that you can see in Brazil regarding the problems to imp well, to implement the magazine, etc., was the main well, the main ones was the following. I have some part of my stat in Brazil and other companies that uh, make some, ex uh, you know, uh, ex sharing experience. They told me, oh well, I have no too much person that can s tell me that Nagio is working well, or if I try to buy it, I have to use my credit card, international credit card. And in Brazil, you know, our culture is not so trustful in that things. Yet, I mean, to sell a software there or to sell products, or everyone to sell there, for example, it's like here, but there in that case, it's that the language. Uh, we, g we we like to see people saying, showing for us face to face how the things work, to convince us to buy that. In my case, it was different because I'm, I'm as I told you, I'm a guy from open source softwares, and I know not just from the past, and there was opportunity for me. Uh, to use Nagios during the course and with it as faster I can implement that in my environment. So for my case, for my case not. For my case we need of course more that say improvements regarding the communication and much share there for you guys. Rodrigo, uh, what will be your main recommendation for people in another countries that are having the same problems. You said uh, first time no success, then what happened to get success? In you, your ca you can try, try every day and you can work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Only. <laughs> Do we have anybody else? Rodrigo, thank you very much. Nice round of applause. Thank please. you, too.